Um, you're live. I don't know what to tell you. Yep, you're live. I see it. Hi, guys. Welcome. Anybody here? Oh, I see it now. Okay, we're just going to wait for some people to come in. You're just going to stand there? No one's come in yet. Oh, it's cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. Can you see the table okay? Hey, cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. How are you doing? And can you see the table? Yes. Okay? Hey, cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. How are you doing? Hey, Sue Abbott. <laughs> right? There is alcohol on the table. So I just thought I would do this surprise little pop-up cooking demo. We're, we're trying out our new camera equipment. You're very sweet. So excuse any shaking or craziness that might be going on. Oh. Does it look okay? Okay. Hey, Jerry Allen. I'm just doing a quick little Pop up live. We're testing our new camera equipment. Sorry, I didn't quite oh. catch that. Could you please repeat it? Oh, no. Cancel. There's nothing to cancel. Hey, Andy. Hey, Teresa. We're just doing a quick little live today, testing out our new equipment. Hi, Sherry Hall. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Sonia. How's it going? I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes to see if anybody else comes in. What are you making? Today, you guys, I'm going to make a... a Fun little appetizer and a cocktail. Hi, Lisa's always cooking. Wow. Hey, Deborah. Hey, cooking with this guy. Okay, I think we got quite a few people in here. We could probably go ahead and start. You need to turn on the lights in the back. The lights in the back? There's two lights I touched. They're on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, I did see this recipe on Facebook for a while. It's for a salted caramel mudslide. So I had to try it. So it's really simple. It only, uh, it's going to take some Kahlua some Bailey's Irish cream, some vodka, some caramel sauce, and some salt. So let's try and see if we can do this. So the first thing they said we need to do is put a little decorative um, sugar around the rim of the glass so that we're gonna take some of the caramel sauce and just make a little ring on a plate. And then I have this um, raw sugar here. So it said to dip the glass in the caramel like that. And then coat it in the sugar. Ooh, pretty. See? That came out good, huh? Okay. And now we're going to set the glass. And now we're gonna uh, pour some ice in the glass. And maybe you could read the comments and see if anybody has any questions. Okay, and then there's still a little bit of uh, ice in the shaker. And it's really easy, it's just equal portions of the Kahlua, the Baileys, and the vodka. So we're gonna use three ounces of each kind. 
This is a new bottle, so it's, it's hard to open. Okay. Honey, I might need your help. I can't get the Kahlua bottle open. It's, it's a new one. Okay, so then we're going to put um, three ounces of the Baileys. Thank you. Can you read the comments? Let's see what everyone's saying. No, you can look at your cell phone. Well, but you can look at the computer. Well, say and it then, out loud? Yeah. No. And then three ounces of the vodka. And the Kahlua. I think this is going to make a pretty big drink, you guys. So how's everyone doing today? Are you doing anything fun? We just took our um, new dog to go get his first grooming at the dog groomers. They said he, they, and he tried to bite them the whole time. I felt so bad for the lady. Okay, now we're just going to shake this up. I forgot the most important part. See, live television. God. I forgot to put the caramel sauce in the glass. It wouldn't be a salted caramel mudslide without the caramel, right? I'm not going to be skimpy with the caramel. Okay. And now, let's see. Okay. It looks good, you guys. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. What do you think? It's pretty, huh? Whipped cream. Whipped cream? Oh, someone said whipped cream? No, I said whipped cream. Oh. <laughs> well, it doesn't call for whipped cream, but you could totally probably put whipped cream on top. Okay, guys, I'm going to give it a try. It's got a kick, but it's really good. Oh, and I forgot the salt. It's a, just a sprinkling of um, sea salt on top. Let's see if that makes a difference. I'm sure it's going to. Now, if you already had salted caramel sauce, like homemade or something, you can maybe skip the salt. Oh, yeah. The salt really does it. Mm -mm -mm. It's good, you guys. Highly recommend. Okay. Oh, my God. There's 26 people in here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's hard to cook and see the comments at the same time. Who else is here? Vegas Pete. Hey, Ultimate Foodie. Hey. Everyone shakes. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Food Fight Showdown. Hey, Suburban Homesteader. How are you, Sandy? Nice to see you in here. Hi, Leprechaun TV. Hi, Shannon. Okay. So, you guys, when I was doing my um, catering job many years ago, this was one of the appetizers that was super popular that I always made. And they're called Caprese Skewers. And they're really simple. It's just using some cherry tomatoes. And today I have the different colored ones. It, they all came in one package. I have yellow, red, orange, the kind of this dark brown color. Kind of makes it for a prettier presentation. But if you don't have the multicolored ones, you can just use whatever color you have. And then um, we're going to use 
some fresh basil, and then these little um, mozzarella balls. Have you guys seen these? So they're like mini balls. And um, these ones are the marinated kind. They have oil, herbs, and spices, but um, you can just get the plain ones too. Or if you can't find the little mini balls, just get the regular size and uh, cut them up in little cubes. That'll work too. And then uh, cheese tortellini. I just pre-cooked this for about five minutes. So it's already done. So, so I figured you guys didn't want to watch water boil. <laughs> and then you just want to take some cute little toothpicks. Um, I got these from Amazon. Aren't they cute? They have like a little pearl on the end. But whatever kind of toothpicks um, that you want to get. And then all we're going to do is start with a tortellini and just skewer it on there. And then take a piece of the fresh basil, put that on there. And then I like to take each one of the little balls and cut it in half. Otherwise it's kind of a big, big mouthful. So just put one of those on there and then one of your half cherry tomatoes. And it looks like that. Isn't that cute? And then um, we are just going to lay them on a plate. And then when I have enough of them on there, I'll show you the last step. So what is everyone saying, honey? Hello. <laughs> Who else is there? Baby girl. Baby girl. Suburban homesteader. Yeah, I said hi to her. Shh. Slots. Oh, sh hi, Jamie. It's a slot machine. Oh, hey, Simon. How are you today? Thank you for coming in. And now we're just going to put our cheese. I have my tortellini. Lucky dog, I say that. Oh, no. Hey, okay. hey Jason. Um, I have my tortellini, my little pesto. Now, you don't need too much of the basil leaf because it is kind of potent. You don't want to put a giant leaf on there. That's going to be too much. Uh, so then the mozzarella ball and then half of the tomato. And it's really just enough that you can just, like, eat it all together. Because if you make it too much bigger, you're not going to be able to fit it all in your mouth. <laughs> so, Yeah. So, um, what is everybody's favorite kind of appetizers that they like? You, you tell me that answer, Sam. Okay. Is there anybody else in there that have a surprise? Cooking with neighbors. Yeah, I Jerry said hi to Jerry okay. Ellen. Yeah, Jerry Ellen. Okay, who else? I don't know. So, these are really great for a party because. People can just, you know, pick them up and eat them, and they're not too messy. I hate when I go to a party. Fried pickles. Oh, hey. Fried pickles From are good. Journey along with Shannon. Okay, yeah. You know, that's one thing I haven't made yet, Shannon, is fried pickles, but I really want to. Because we go to, do you guys have Texas Roadhouse? Um, we have one of those kind of near our house. And um, they have fried pickles on the menu, and they are so delicious. Bacon wrapped shrimp. Oh, yeah. They're from Baby Girl. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Baby Girl made my bacon wrapped shrimp um, not too long ago to take to a party, I believe. And she said people really liked it. If you guys haven't seen that video, I have a little um, video on that. It's super easy. Very easy. Margaret's making bakes. It. Those little flat top pancakes are good. Little flat top pancakes. Oh, okay. Joyce um, Hart said stuffed mushrooms. Oh, yeah. You guys, have you tried my craft stuffed mushrooms yet? Those things are so good. But now, if you don't like crab, you could also use sausage instead. That would be really good, too. But you just can never go wrong with crab stuff. I mean, with any kind of stuffed mushroom, I think.
Okay, I'm not gonna go do too many more and bore you guys with this. But as you can see, it's so quick. It's just like one of those appetizers that you um, don't have to work too hard on, but it looks fancy. Those are my favorite kind. Chris, what are you doing? What are you doing at the table? Are you coming over here? Oh. Here's it. <laughs> I would have handed it to you. Don't drop it. I'm not here. Chris is trying the salted caramel mudslide, but he's crawling under the table. I'm it to peanut. Okay, guys, I'm going to do one more. So, nobody noticed anything. Right, nobody noticed anything, right? That wasn't obvious at all. Okay. So, this is what they look like. I can't see myself, so <laughs> hopefully you can see this. And now um, what we're going to do to finish them is we're going to take this balsamic glaze. Um, now, if you guys have never gotten this before, you can put this on so many things. And it's just reduced balsamic vinegar with a little bit of sugar in it. But if you guys don't have this access to this, just take some regular balsamic vinegar, say a half a cup and reduce it in a saucepan by half to like a quarter cup, and it'll get nice and thick, and uh, maybe just add like a teaspoon of sugar, and it'll get like a syrup, and it'll look just like this. But I get this at Trader Joe's, or even my grocery stores have this now. So, and I like that it has like the little, um, you know, drizzling thing. So then all I do is I just take it and just drizzle it on top. Shush said, I'm obsessed with raspberry balsamic vinegar. Oh, yeah. Raspberry is delicious. So, yeah. And it, it just gives it a nice flavor. And see, it kind of dresses up the skewers, makes it look nice. And then there you have it. You can you can make these ahead of time. You can put them in the, you can make them in the morning and serve them in the afternoon. Or like I said, literally what? That took 10 minutes to make. <laughs> you just make them on the fly if someone comes over. So yeah, that was my little appetizer I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, I only I only uh, had plans to do one appetizer today. So it went a little quicker than I thought. <laughs> Been 18 minutes. Oh, it has? Oh, okay. Yeah. So does anybody have any questions? Somebody wants me to Zoom. Oh, sure, yeah. I don't know if I can. Oh, he's going to try to zoom. I don't have a zoom lens. Well, but you can just kind of come over closer. Yeah, we're, we're still working out the, the bugs of trying to live stream. So he's taking the camera off the tripod. Let's see if we can see it better now. I don't see it. I don't see it. It's, there's no, I don't see it. It's just way behind. I don't know what you're showing. It's not that far behind. It's only a few seconds behind. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Now now it's working. Yeah. Okay. I already showed it. I'm going to go back. Oh, no, no. Just show it one more time. Can you guys see that? Okay, Chris is going to do a taste test. Oh, that, that's a good good picture right there. See, my phone is delayed, so it's like I'm seeing things either before or after. <laughs> of course, everyone is invited over, Pete. Of course. Yeah, these really are good, you guys. Like I said, I've made these so many times, and people always like them. Yeah. Hi, Edel's Kitchen. Hi, Sheila. How when, are you? When you try a bite. What? When you try a bite. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try a bite, too. So I don't like to 
I'll just always try to bite me. Yeah, but not this big a piece. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> Shush mm -hmm. Slot says she's starving. <laughs> she hates you. Well, Jamie, you have lots of good food where you work. <laughs> Unless today's your day off, I'm not sure. Mm, they're so good, you guys. You just get that really nice, fresh taste from the basil. And you get the creaminess from the cheese and the, the fresh flavor from the tomato and the tanginess from the balsamic. It's just like the like all the good flavors wrapped up into one little bite. So I really think you guys should try this. Susan says Caprese is her absolute favorite. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I love Caprese salad. So these are... Caprese salad bites, I guess you could say. But I call them Caprese salad skewers. But, yeah. These are even better in the summertime when, like, tomatoes are really good. Because these, these tomatoes don't have that much flavor compared to, like, the summertime. Hi, Andrew Simple Cooking. How are you? <laughs> I want to do a taste test. I know. Hey, Leanne, how are you? All my favorite people are here. This is so awesome. Yeah. I guess I probably should have made one more thing, but I wasn't sure, like, the whole timing thing yet, because this is, like, the first time I've done a cooking live. So. Oh, yes, Jamie. Caprese mm -hmm. sandwich. Yeah, Caprese sandwich. That sounds delicious. Hi, May. How are you? Welcome in. Hi, Heather. How are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> Heather made her art, you guys. She makes amazing artwork. She's so talented, so I would highly suggest you guys go over to her page and check out her artwork. And she's also a chef, um, so she she can probably, I'm sure, outcook me, but <laughs> yeah, she's very talented. Oh, thanks, Sandy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Wow. How long have we been on, honey? 22 minutes. Oh, okay. We should try 30 minutes to see what happens to the camera. Yeah. No, either way. Yeah. Does anyone have any other questions? The idea of the balsam is usually, I find a thick balsam. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea, Margaret. It really is. Michelle, how you doing, girl? Yeah, it was a surprise, Michelle. We just decided to do this kind of on the fly just to test out our new uh, camera equipment. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Do they prefer lives or the edited versions? Um, I'm sure the edited version. <laughs> Hi, Dreams of Cassava. How are you? Joyce said she put her saran wrap in the ice box. Oh, awesome. <laughs> nice, Joyce. Yeah, I have mine in there now, too. You know, I did a short on that, and it never hit the short shelf, which is very odd because it was so popular on TikTok. I had, like, I don't know, a thousand likes. So I figured that uh, they would put it on the shelf, but they never did. I thought that was a good tip. Yeah, it does, Joyce. Yeah. It's a burrata. Oh, What's yeah. burrata? Burrata, you guys, if you've never had burrata, it's like fresh mozzarella, but even, like, softer. It is so good. If you ever have to see it on the menu, get it. It is delicious. Michelle says hi. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, it is so good. Yeah, Heather, that's why we're starting to do, uh, we're going to start doing lives at least once or twice a week um, so that I can get my watch hours up. Um, Sonia wants to know what kind of camera we have yeah, yeah, and, type in. and how do you connect it? Okay, he's going to answer you, Sonia, because <laughs> you know me. I don't know anything about technical stuff. Hi, Kissy Cat. How are you? 
What's in the freezer? <laughs> you want to know what's in my freezer? Oh, Lord. <laughs> that might be very scary. Yeah, that's true, Heather, but you have to have uh, 4,000 watch hours, and I um, I don't have that many yet. So, yeah. That's why we're going live. Um, I, I still need about uh, 1,600 hours. So I got quite a ways to go. I think it's more like 1,800. Here, hand me one. There, Chris approved. That is for sure. Yeah, bring it back. <laughs> yeah, Heather, that's, yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I just did one other live a few days ago, and I got like 100 watch hours doing that. I don't know how, but I did two different lives, uh, like, I split it up and it was amazing. So yeah, I think you split it up because you messed it up. Well, I, I had to split it up because I messed it up, but <laughs> yeah, it was a it was uh, a good thing to do, I think. So yeah. Hi, blind girling, how are you? I'm sorry you're got here late, but um, I just made some caprese skewers, which are just um, cooked tortilla cheese tortellini, some fresh mozzarella balls some fresh basil leaves and a cherry tomato. And then I drizzled it with some balsamic glaze and it makes a really nice appetizer. Or you can even honestly just um, not put it on the skewers and just make it into a salad. That would be really good too. Yeah, Heather, exactly. What have we got? What have we got planned for Valentine's Day? What? <laughs> Nothing. All the restaurants here are Shooting closed. videos. <laughs> Making a video. <laughs> Not that kind of video. A cooking video. Yeah. We're all. We always have to make cooking videos. We we never have any stockpiled like some people do, uh, because Chris works really long hours for his job, and so. Whenever he has days off, we have to like make the videos. Shish thoughts want you to okay. mail or something. Bye, Sheila. Uh, can you mail? Can you make something that travels well and mail it to me? <laughs> I'll try to think of that, Jamie, okay? Beef jerky. Hey, it's Kitchen Queers. Hi, guys. Welcome. I just did my first little cooking live. I made uh, caprese skewers with uh, cherry tomatoes, cheese tortellini, fresh mozzarella balls, and fresh pesto. And I drizzled it with balsamic glaze. They're really good, you guys. You should try them. You guys, if you haven't checked out Kitchen Queers yet, they are an amazing uh, cooking channel. And they only live at like 45 minutes from me, so hopefully someday we can get together. But they do lives generally every Tuesday. They make a different dish. And I believe tomorrow at uh, 6 o'clock Pacific time, they are doing a special Valentine's cocktail live. Right, guys? So um, hopefully you guys can subscribe to them and then watch their live. They're so much fun, you guys. You won't even believe it. Hi, Melly Love Slots. How are you? Hi, Jazzy J. Hi, Brian Ford. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah, well, next time I'm gonna I'll make two I'll make two different dishes since this went by so fast. I figured making the drink and the appetizer would take longer, but I guess they were too simple. <laughs> so you, you know, this is all a learning process for me, you guys. So um, each time I do a live, I'm sure I'll get a little bit better at it, but I sure appreciate all you guys being here. This is so sweet of you guys. Make nachos next time. Yeah. Does anybody have any, any, uh, suggestions what you want me to make on the next live? It could be a main dish, a dessert. An appetizer. 
I was thinking about making, uh, I don't know if you saw my little poll in my community tab, but I did a little survey about what's your favorite soup. So if you haven't checked that out yet, the survey will be up until Sunday. And uh, whichever gets the most votes, that's the soup that I'll be making. And maybe I'll make that um, for a live stream. So, but my next live stream is actually um, going to be next Tuesday. And I'm going to be reviewing some new kitchen gadgets that I bought on Amazon. And they're all like inexpensive. I think they were like less than seven or eight dollars each. And I'm going to test them and see if they really work. And if they don't, the great thing about Amazon, you just can ship them back. <laughs> but I think they're going to work. They, they look pretty cool. Some of them are really funny. <laughs> yes. I didn't tell you, Kitchen Queers, what I made. It's a salted caramel mudslide. It has um, caramel syrup around the glass inside. And then I put equal parts of Bailey's, Kahlua, and vodka. Shook it up, put it in there, and sprinkled it with sea salt. It is amazing. You guys, I think you would love this one for sure. I better try it again just to make sure if I liked it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you can never go wrong with those ingredients, right? Strawberry shortcake. Hey, that's a good idea, Jamie, because um, strawberries are starting to come in here in California. That's a really good idea. Shannon's got to run. Okay, Shannon, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. We should run soon. Yeah, we're going to run soon, too, because... I don't have anything left to cook, so, <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, you guys, I sure appreciate you being here for my first cooking live. It really means a lot to me. Um, so if you can share this live out with your friends or um, make sure you give it a like, and if you can leave me a comment sometime after the live ends, I would really appreciate it because uh, YouTube likes when you leave comments. So I hope you guys are going to give the drink a try and the appetizer a try, a try because I really think you're going to like them. So, um, oh, hey, Parnell, how are you? I'm sorry um, you came in late, but um, I made these caprese skewers. You can watch the, from the beginning and uh, see how I did it. Oh, strawberry bread. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Thanks, Vegas Pete. I appreciate it. Thanks, Margaret. Talk to you later. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off, and I hope you all have a happy Valentine's Day. If you have a sweetie or not, do something fun, spoil yourself, make something yummy, and I will see you on the next live. Bye, everybody. Okay. Thanks.